Dude, we're all we're all crazy busy. We're all old adults now. We're all old overworking adults. Over busy. Maybe not working, but busy. It's work. Yeah. Work, 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 work. Work, 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 work. You it's wait. not work to care for your child, Kevin. Gosh. No. It's love, all right? It's love, compassion. Yeah. Understanding. Wiping some dirty butts. Wiping some dirty butts. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Bright Connections. I'm your host, BK. Joining me once again, Mr. Girl Dad Extraordinaire, Kevin. Kevin, how you doing, buddy? Good. How about yourself? Wonderful. Wonderful. It's been a long time to see. Yes, it has been a handful of weeks here. Uh, I've missed your, missed your shining face and your your silly jokes. So. <laughs> I don't know about silly jokes. Uh, you're, you're, hey, they're, they're dad jokes now. They're dad jokes. I missed your dad jokes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so how's everything going with the with the family and everything? Oh, good, good. Can't complain. Little ones um starting to get more mobile. So it's it's oh, been a boy. little um uh getting stuff done around the house and outside of the house is just eh, you gotta pick and choose. It's yeah. not as easy as it was. Yeah. And now she wants to grab at everything, so we're, uh, we're starting to baby proof everything, and it's yeah, it's been interesting. Well, but this is more exciting. Jeez, uh, every every episode, episode literally every episode, I pull that out of my head. Never never fails. But um, yeah, I could imagine. I guess you got to watch what you're what you're putting out now with decorations and stuff. Yeah, well, she put the tree up and everything, so mm-hmm. she likes to go towards the tree. I'm Anything sure. that has bright colors, bright lights, beeline straight towards. Oh yeah, so. just like a just like a moth. Yep. I should compare your child to a moth. I don't know. She's 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 a little little creepy crawler walking across the floor, crawling across the floor. <laughs> creepy crawly. <laughs> just don't get the uh, don't get the you vacuum or the her, fly swatter out or anything. Yeah, may not hear. Oh, you get the vacuum out. She loves the vacuum. Really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she like stares at it. It's like, don't go towards the light. Yeah, or the it will loud, the, the loud noise. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, that's my vacuum noise. <laughs> you need to work on the vacuum noise. I do. That's almost as bad as my jokes. I do. <laughs> oh my goodness. So you uh, are that. So you just, good here. just get ready. All, all said and done. Getting ready for Christmas. <laughs> I just heard the wife run into one of her toys. <laughs> <laughs> I think when we try to be quiet, we're more loud. Yeah. And it's like a landmine. You gotta watch out. There's like a toy every 10, 10 feet. You gotta, you gotta yep, like you gotta tiptoe. Tiptoe through the Lego Luckily, minefield. She, she sleeps through anything for the most part. So That's good. you run through one thing, it's okay. But if you start running and making twenty things, no, making loud noises and run over twenty things, yeah, that might that might do it. Huh? I see you got your nice little Christmas tree. Up. I do, I do. I've got my light, nice little Christmas tree there. That's just my little side mini one there. Must have taken forever to decorate. Yeah. Hey, all right, calm down. All the ornaments go on the other one, on the main one. <laughs> Jeez. Right, I'm saying it probably took forever. No. I mean, yeah, yeah, like yeah. three days. Yeah, no, no, here we go. There here we go. go. Three days. Wrap them lights on there. Goodness gracious. So, but yeah, I got that up. I am. Uh, I was listening to jamming out the Christmas music the other day. I'm. I'm getting ready. I got most of my Christmas shopping done. Got maybe a few things here or there. All of ours is done. Yeah? You have it, pa- you have it wrapped and everything too? <laughs> yeah, let's take it. Let's take a look at that little giant pal behind you there. What do we got there? Uh, some Santa come, came for the little one and dropped some gifts off early. Wow. So he doesn't have to stop here on Christmas night. He can go somewhere else that, yeah. that he can't get to beforehand. 
So she has all of her gifts already wrapped and ready to go. We put our gifts in the stockings. So she has her gifts in the stocking. Right. No, but I couldn't. This is the first year where we I got shopping done beforehand. Usually I'm a last minute shopper where I'm like, eh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh shoot, it's a week before Christmas. Gotta buy some stuff. What am I yeah, what am I getting here? Yeah. Nice. So you, you said you got a giant ball pit for her? Oh yeah, yeah. Um that's that's what the pink thing is behind me. It's a nice little round cushiony ball pit. So she likes she she's starting to get mobile now and she likes to pull herself up. So if she does uh tumble around in the ball pit, she doesn't get hurt. So yeah. But 100 balls, I, I think we need to get some more because personally, when I get in it, I, 100 balls is just not going to suffice. I'm going to knock it's all not them enough. out. So <laughs> we need to get more than that. Maybe so if you, if you get more, though, would that not mean more are going to go flying? Yeah, yeah, maybe. But okay. yeah, yeah, needs, good point. needs to be overflowing. All right? Yeah. That's all that matters. We need to where she gets in it and disappears. Yes. She pops out like a little, like gopher game. Yeah. Whack-a-mole. Yeah, whack-a-mole. But you, disclaimer, won't whack her. No. no. Just, just to clarify that, yeah. <laughs> Not can we sit there whacking my child. Bam! Boop, in your ball pit. No. Nah. <laughs> no, nah, but yeah, we got her ball pits and she get mobile and some other some other items. So. Nice. Excited cool. to see what her first christmas holds even though it's a lot different than previous it's, years yeah i mean it's still it's still christmas this make it true. make it make it the what it you know make it what it is so mm-hmm. yep so all right so last week uh liz and i talked about the mandalorian we skipped one of the weeks uh, i know kevin actually doesn't watch mandalorian unfortunately sorry so a little busy. A lot of people that too. And yeah. One of those oddballs that don't. A little, a little busy with uh, with other things, but hey, I don't have Disney Plus yet. Little yes. One's not old enough to be able to watch it, so. Yeah. But uh, so another, we can give another little quick update on the Mandalorian here. Uh, so two weeks ago, the episode, which was episode five, I'm not remembering now, but. Anywho, um, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, okay? Uh, Not the last week's episode, but the week before. Big news. We found big news. We found the name of Baby Yoda. Is it Yoda? No. It's not yet. Oh, 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 wow. Not yet. Everybody, it's it's the same species as Yoda, but everybody, we didn't know his name throughout the, the series so far. So everybody called him Baby Yoda, but we we found out his actual real name. It's Grogu. Oh, Yoda's way better. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know how people feel about the name. I haven't heard too much positive about it. I hear a lot of people saying, I'm still calling him Baby Yoda. Sounds like Goku. Yeah, a little bit. Grogu? Grogu? I mean, he's he's a Jedi, so he can kind of do the same, you know. He can't go Super Saiyan, though. No. Although he kind of did in the last step. Mm, I don't, never mind. <laughs> never, <laughs> I, don't, I don't like talking about Whoops. the latest episode because it's I only a couple days. A spoiler alert out of I it? know, Ooh. right? Um, but so we found out his name. Found out his name and kind of a little bit on his past. Um, and then we also got to meet one of the well-known characters from the other series, the Clone Wars series. Um, you probably haven't watched those either, but Watch the Clone War movie. Clone War movie? Yeah, no, she's not in there. No, no, no. no, no. But a very, See, very well known. Ca- That's okay. It's okay. I only hold it against you for, for a little while. Sweet. Sweet. In the movies, just. Yeah. You'll have to check out the the series at some point. They're very good. Very good. Yeah, probably um, catching up to it. Yeah. Eventually. Eventually. Yep. Yeah. Um, but we found, you know, we, we finally met Ahsoka Tano, um, who was in the Clone Wars and in Rebels as well. Uh, but she made her appearance in The Mandalorian. 
And a lot of people were happy about it. I mean, she's, like I said, a very well-known character. Um, people, people got to know her very well through the Clone Wars as she, like, as she grew up through the Clone Wars. Um, and, but there was a new, I guess like, there's a new actor playing her. So we had the voice actor in the, in the animated series, the Clone Wars, but we obviously, this is live action, the Mandalorian. So we had a new actor player and a lot of people were worried, you know, is, is it going to work out well? Is she going to play it well? And a lot of people were very pleased. So that's obviously good, but uh, just very exciting to see characters, especially those who've watched the Clone Wars. Very, very exciting to see characters that you're familiar with kind of transfer over to other, other shows as well. And uh, she is a very, very likable character. So it's good to see her again. So that was a big episode. It's a big episode. Good, good bit of action. And then getting to see Ahsoka and getting to find out the name of, of Grogu. Grogu. <laughs> it's kind of funny now. I keep thinking about it. Grogu. But Sounds like something from Guardians of the Galaxy. Any, yeah, uh, any like sci-fi sh show or movie or whatever. It's kind of, yeah, those weird alien type names. Sorry, that's my input to the man, Warren. Yeah. I know. I'm going to get shunned by all the Star Wars fans. <sighs> you should. What? No. Shame. 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 Yeah. But so that's the little update on the Mandalorian. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. Man, now you make me want to go and catch up on it. I'm surprised your brother hasn't yelled at you for. He does. Okay. He does watch it and he, he tells you for about not. It and I'm like, I don't know I what's going on. Don't know what's going on. Yeah, I know. But now I have to catch up because everybody's watching. <sighs> Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Yep. There you go. So. No, but that's I, on my list to watch eventually. Spoiler done. Spoiler done. Spoiler done. I don't know if that's going to work or not. We'll see. So, uh, last time, or one of the last times we talked, we talked, actually, I guess it was before the last time, but we talked once on disney and all the disney it was movies before being basic it was before being basic yeah 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 oh, that was a fun episode so hot <laughs> we we were so hot i don't I sweat i gleam pounds. you don't sweat you gleam oh i gleam <laughs> oh i attribute man. that uh saying to my wife because she's she's told me that quite a few times yeah before that and that stuck in my head I don't sweat. I gleam. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. But anyway, uh, we talked on Disney movies and I uh, happened to, I was, I was off of work the other day. A little tummy not feeling so well, but uh, <laughs> I was off, I was off work and I was just like, you know, what? I don't feel like doing anything. I'm just going to sit and I'm going to watch movies. I was like, yeah, I kind of want to watch Disney movies. So I went on Disney plus and I was like, all right, this and this, and that but basically spent the whole day watching Disney movies. Tell you what though, it was a blast. I enjoyed it. A lot of good, a lot of good movies. What did I watch? Jeez, give the deets. Give the deets. Okay. Um, as I go dark here, going dark. Bravo six, going dark. Um, started off with Frozen two. That for being a sequel, that one was pretty good. It was. It was pretty good. Not it obviously, was first one. not not as good as the first one. Not as good as the first one, but still, you know, still entertaining, still good. Musical numbers, man, magnificent. <laughs> not as not as iconic as the first one again, though. With with yeah. let it yeah. let it go. Um, but good good storyline. Good to good to see uh, Ol Olaf again. He's my favorite. He's my buddy. I love Olaf. Um, then after that, I watched Onward. Was that the one with the trolls? Yes, it was the the troll kit, the troll children, who found a magic stick, yeah. and, and their their father was was passed away, and they brought him halfway back to life. That one was good. That it was, was good. Yeah, for for being. It was it was different, but it was a typical Disney movie. 
it wasn't it wasn't the ending i expected no i'm not going to no, spoil this one but I, it was not the ending i expected no it had a nice little twist to it it did it, it, it was good cut it and maybe if you haven't watched it take a watch maybe tear up a little bit now you why yeah it was it was it was one of those tear jerking disney ones it was it was touching it, was, yeah. it wasn't as it wasn't as tear jerker as the lion king but nothing nothing's as emotionally powerful as the lion king no as we've determined yeah. through our yeah through That's our bracket true. challenge lion king is king um mm-hmm. so that was a good one though um then i watched oh the new aladdin see when when I heard Will, Will Smith was gonna be a genie, I was like, mm, I don't know how he's gonna, he's funny, but oh, I love I Will Smith. He, but he was he was freaking good. Yeah, uh, I gotta admit, the Aladdin it wasn't the movie wasn't as good as the original. No, but it was for it being live action, it was it was good. It was good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I I love Will Smith. I'm a big Will Smith fan. I I thought mm-hmm. he did really well. Um, I think I don't know if they maybe could have had a little bit more. I feel like Jafar didn't have as much of a impact until like the end. I, th- I think it could have been know. a little bit longer. I think it was too short. Really? Of the of them? Well, it wasn't as well played out as the original one. Yeah. It's, again, like it's a lot tough. Of the parts... just just like the Lion King remake, you know, that was nowhere near as good as the original. It's it's tough. Yeah. It's tough, especially when you go from a movie that's animated to a live action. Sometimes there's th- there's stuff that just can't quite make it work. Although that's sure. although with Aladdin, it's it's different than Lion King because that's with people still. Lion, yeah. you know, Aladdin's with people. Lion King, they were trying to live action animals, and it was just like, eh. but. Um, <laughs> Unpuff it. Yeah. 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 Uh it was good though. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I love a good love story, you know. Jas Jasmine um <clears throat> she yeah. She's, she's a cutie. Just go with that. Um and that Latin guy, man, he's 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 a good looking dude as well. Hey, I can I don't know some some actor that I've never <laughs> heard of. Hey, you could, you could appreciate a good looking dude. I'm not saying I'm attractive. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying he's a good looking dude. You hey, know, hey, yeah. you can appreciate that. I do. You got yeah. respect when respect's given. Exactly. Exactly. But then the the I forgot about the. I guess I haven't watched Aladdin in a while. I forgot the tiger was in there. Um, what's the name now? I forget. Oh, I just watched it, Brian. What are you doing? Oh, well. And then, uh, oh, <laughs> he's getting the deets from his, hey, hey, what, our, our uh, editing crew, what's the, what's the name? Um, but. I'll phone a friend. I'll phone, yes, I saw you were, you were. She, she didn't answer. Oh, okay. Um, but anyway, we've got Baba the the princess's father who is the sultan i just love i like that name too baba baba what's that his name hmm? oh i thought she kept saying papa nope, that's, <laughs> papa it's almost as bad as papa. my google knowledge oh yeah or your quotes hey hey, hey oh hate, sorry don't hate the game i'm sorry I'm hate the player i was unwanted that was unwarranted shot there Unnecessary. But true. So but true. true. Okay. As long as you can admit it. Anywho, Aladdin, good movie. Good movie. And then I think there's still one more. Yeah, Lady and the Tramp. The new Lady oh, and the Tramp. Well, I like that. The new one? Yeah. Is it good? It's a live action Lady and the Tramp. Yeah. I I, I enjoyed it a lot, actually. I, that actually might have been my favorite of the we four. We were talking about it the other day or a lot a couple weeks ago. Like you just 
You just said, is there a, there's a new one? And well, then you're like, the there's a new one about oh. the original one. Oh, okay. I got you. Maybe nah. because we did see a commercial for the new one. I don't know. I don't I don't know. You probably wouldn't have seen a commercial, but Every, everything runs together nowadays. So... Being a girl dad is extraordinary. You would have to. <laughs> you think about girl dad stuff. Yeah. Runs through your mind all day. Every day. Yep. Every day. All day, every day. But you would have to have a Disney Plus for that, I believe. No. Oh. Yeah. Hey, can I borrow yours? Sure. I don't know if it works, actually. I don't know. I don't know. I don't either. But anywho, um, Lady and Tramp. Good one. It was good. I enjoyed it. It was another one of those, kind of like The Lion King, though, where they're trying to live action animal. Yeah. But it worked a little bit better. Somehow. They might, they might be cooperate better than humans sometimes, though. Yeah. Yeah. You don't got to talk back, you know. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't get some of the corniness. You get the real passion of real the passion in the animal. Exactly. Get the dog instinct. The dog instinct. <laughs> exactly. Yes. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. We're losing it. We're losing it, guys. So that was my day. Uh, I'll tell you what, it put me in some sort of a mood. That's for sure. I was feeling emotional. I was feeling the, the love. Bonafen has responded. Raja. That's it. So Raja. Raja the tiger from Aladdin. Yeah. And Abu, the monkey. Don't forget Abu, the Ooh, monkey. That's my. Mm. That's your buddy. Oh that's your boy. Especially when he gets turned into the. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Poor guy. Yeah. Poor little fella. He was monkeying around too much. Ah. Uh, it. It. Gotta fit those dad jokes Gotta in there. Gotta get those dad jokes in there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Broke a sweat there thinking about that one. Broke a, broke a gleam there. <laughs> I glisten. <laughs> All righty then. All righty then. Moving on. <clears throat> so that was my Disney day, and uh, it was great. So just wanted to share that. All right. Next. We had a little whatever it was with the NFL the other week with the Steelers and the Ravens. So now we talked about this last couple times ago, a couple episodes ago. We, yeah, we were, the stuff was starting to ramp up a little bit again with covid and i guess i guess we saw it coming in a way we're we're prophets over here future future tellers yeah why can't i think of the name gurus no uh fortune tellers yeah fortune tellers <laughs> i said future tellers what am i talking about that, that, same thing <laughs> you're telling of on the future. future yeah but um, to recap, so real quick, the Baltimore Ravens and Pittsburgh Steelers were supposed to have a game on Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving night. Everybody's like, oh, yeah, cool. We got something to watch because the other two games on Thanksgiving were just not good. Very, very bad teams. So everybody's you know excited about the, the Steelers-Ravens game and the Thanksgiving night. And the day before Thanksgiving, they're like, oh, shoot, Baltimore's got a bunch of COVID cases. We can't do the game. Oh, shoot. Let's push it back till Sunday. What's a couple days going to do? What's a couple days going to do? Yeah, it'll be it'll be cleared up by then. Two days, three days, whatever. Nope. Get to before Sunday, get there, day before Sunday, or I guess. And, uh, well, uh, it's not cleared up, so we're, uh, we're going to push it back again till uh, Tuesday. Push back till Tuesday. Monday comes around. Uh, we've got more uh, more cases appearing. Uh, we ended up having what, one or two Pittsburgh Pittsburgh guys. There are a couple Steelers. A couple Steelers. But there's and to it, and then the yeah, five the or six Baltimore Ravens. Oh, there's, no, there, dude, there was 20. 14? Okay. 20. There, well, I, there was 20 that they held out. I, I guess there's in the teens of uh, confirmed cases. 
I guess they held out other ones with close contact or whatever. So almost a week later. So it's they pushed it. They, they pushed it back again till Wednesday. And then they're like Wednesday. Oh, it's 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 perfectly fine to do it Wednesday now. Don't know why it was fine at that point, but finally played it at three forty in the afternoon on a Wednesday. What it was? Uh, it was advertised as a Sunday night game. Didn't you see the announcers? Sunday yeah. prime time. They kept saying it the whole time too. They're like, "Well, oh, it's, it's a sun. Day. It's a Sunday night uh, on a Wednesday." <laughs> they joy. They love the shit out of it, and I'm just like, "It's not yeah. funny." Mm. Like, what? Mm. But anywho, they just they, they didn't know what they were doing. You can clearly tell the NFL did not know what the heck was. No, yet um, they Denver didn't have a plan play. for it. Denver had to play with um, a high school wide receiver. I mean, no, a practice squad wide receiver, but yeah, like as a quarterback. What what I was confused about is why this game kept getting pushed back because the Ravens were having trouble with COVID, and so they they catered to them and were trying to help them. But there was other cases, other teams, and specifically, like you said, Denver. Their whole entire quarterback, San Francisco. one, two, three. All three of their, of their quarterbacks on their roster were all held off, the, you know, and couldn't play. So they had to go with some random guy off the street, essentially, as their quarterback. And they still Poor had to play. Guy. They had to play on their on their certain day and certain time that they were scheduled for. But this Baltimore, you know, Steelers game got pushed back. Double standards. Double. Why? Standards. Yeah, and I. Just, San Francisco had to do the same thing. They had they had players out and they yeah, still had to play. Shoot, players, they, yeah. shoot, they can't even play in their own stadium. Yeah, yeah. Like they gotta go to Arizona. Yeah, they, they're That's, done because like, their their county or their state, you know, said that we're not allowing contact sports any you know anymore for a month or whatever. So they're playing in another stadium right now. They're figuring out. They're not getting catered to, pushed back. I don't understand why they pushed. Sorry, NFL, but you can't have double standards. Yeah, you you got to either set rules and regulations one way and adhere to them, or don't play at all. Like it's a pandemic. If you're gonna, yeah, you're all all about the money, but at the same time, you got to be aware of the player safety. And if you keep pushing it back, what the heck's that gonna do? Either cancel the game at that point, play maybe try playing it at play. the end of the season, or no. or just just. Make them forfeit, obviously. I mean, Baltimore forfeit. I mean, that's what they should have done. <laughs> but yeah, it, it it was it was a it was a shit show, to be honest. Yeah, just, it was. It was like it was, watching a high school football game. It was like Saturday morning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Talking to moving to the game now, even yeah. It was, Shoot, some high school football games are even better than that. It was not a good game by any standards no. either. Yeah, I just I don't know if teams weren't prepared or they weren't mentally there or what, but no, it was. It was very odd. But it was Sunday night primetime. Sunday night primetime on Wednesday. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was crazy. But, oh, well, got it, got, got to get it played. Steelers won. Still undefeated. Whoop, whoop. 11 and 0, baby. 11 and 0, baby. So, it all worked out in the end for us. Mm-hmm. Now, I would hope that now that they had this experience and they're hopefully able to now going forward, you know, if there's another situation like that, that they can handle a little bit better. Yeah. Whatever they, whatever they want or need to do, hopefully they do it better. It just, it was rough. Yeah. There got to be some sort of regulation or, roles in place granted this this hasn't happened for oh geez since what the spanish flu or the other the other pandemics but yeah. like you gotta it's, have yeah, it's, sort of regulation it's not it's yeah i mean it's not like anything we've ever had before ever experienced before but at the same time you knew about it going into the season yeah into the, you had players year. sign a contract saying that they're either opting in to play or they're opting out. So stuff could change at a moment's notice. Yeah, but you got to have some sort of like guidelines to say if something happens, 
here's what's here's the here's, here's the what, two cases that could go to. Yeah. But I I think the ill preparedness of 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 the league is yeah. kind of showing a it glaring shown forth. Mm-hmm. Yep. Reared its ugly head, and boy, it was ugly. Boy, you ugly. You fugly. Yep. yep. <laughs> but so again, hopefully they have it figured out going forward. I don't know if I think I've heard the the mention of a bubble for playoffs or something, but we'll see. Well, it worked out for the NBA. It worked out for the MLB. Hey. NHL. Didn't, we didn't and, have it for uh, the MLB. Not MLB. Yeah, so we didn't have it for the MLB. I was thinking about the how the MLB suing because of the pandemic. Really? Thirty billion dollars. Who million are they dollars. suing? I don't. I saw it this morning briefly. Oh my! I didn't gosh. get to read the article, and I kind of just like glazed over because I was like, "This, this is for a loss of revenue." Ridiculous. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anywho, hopefully it all gets figured out because everybody likes their their NFL. And hopefully we can still get to continue Bring watching norm, norm normalness norm, to normalcy the, normality normal yeah, normality to the situation words yeah. yeah so all right um so last week we had our first snow of the season yeah buddy yeah buddy i don't really care for snow I'm gonna be honest. I I used to I think, love it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, when you're a kid, it's it's tough not to love snow. Yeah. Um. I think. I think I hate the cold more than the snow, though. If I had to pin it down on one thing, I just don't like the cold. Um. With snow, I I think what I don't like about it, I, honestly, I, I was as I was thinking about it more when we had the we had the snow that one day. I think what I really don't like about it is actually just cleaning it off the car. <laughs> bad as that sounds i like i like looking at it you know look out the window at it you know from the warmth and comfort of your home or wherever you are that's good i like that it's, it's very pretty um i don't really have too much of a problem necessarily driving in it i know a lot of people don't like driving in it oh i love driving in it i don't mind driving in it i think literally i just don't like cleaning it off my car put on the music too fast too furious or tokyo drift Hit those bends and those snow cover roads. Rip that e brake. Rip that e brake. <laughs> Granny shift and not double. Oh. Granny shift and not double clutching like you should. Okay. I don't know what you're it's talking about. It's how you about, stand huh? by your car. It's how you drive your car. Oh. Yeah. Okay. No, but like, I. So you've got, pe- you've got people like you that are. No, I just I you just don't I don't mind driving in the snow. I agree with you. I don't like the cold either. It's as I got as I'm getting older and older, my joints start hurting when it's cold out. Got arthritis. But seriously, I yeah, think I, got those I, think I do already. There. Yeah, I got the yeah, arthritis really kicks in. Yeah. I don't know, it's just Taking taking all that snow off your car and it's like blowing in your face and your hands are cold. <laughs> when you need a step ladder to get to the roof of your car, that stinks. I'm talking about myself. Oh, okay. Because of my truck. Oh. No, okay. it wasn't. That wasn't a short joke. Don't worry. <laughs> but. But. I see where we're going. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Um. No, but yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's not know. fun. It's not that fun. But it was good snowball weather, though. I mean, it was good snowball snow. It was snowball snow. It was, yes. Um, did you, I assume you, when you were a kid, you were big time playing in snow, oh, yeah. making, you know, throwing snowball fights, making snowmen. Ate snow. Ate snow. Peed in it. Made snowmen. Snowball I- fight. Shoved, shoved my brother's head in it. I remember my head shoved in it. <laughs> played my, football in it. Man. Shoved in my head. Yeah, really? Yeah. Nice. I remember what we always did, uh, my brother and I. We would we would at least a time or two 
when it was when there was enough snow and it was it was good good building snow we uh we actually tried to make like an igloo yeah that was fun that's gotta be tough like looking back on it now how the heck did we do that i remember when we when i had the blizzard we uh dug dug into our hillside and made like a tunnel system nah yeah didn't work out too well if i remember correctly Mm. but it's kind of neat like your imagination as a kid in the snow i think makes it a lot better oh yeah get older you're like looking at the snow like Oh, I gotta show it looks nice, but show... yeah, yeah, you're thinking of what you gotta do to to take. Yeah, exactly. When you're not a kid, like sled riding or right. When you're a kid, you don't have to worry about that stuff. It's all about it's all about playing in it. Oh, we got her her first snowsuit. Yeah. So how was uh how was Minnie's uh first experience with snow? Got uh, I brought in a little bit of snow for her to feel, and she 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 went right at it with her hands. She like was touching it and feeling it. We didn't take her outside in the snow because she didn't have an outfit and we didn't want to get her soaking wet and cold. But yeah, brought in some snow and she played with it. She was like, Whoa, this is amazing. Bought her first snowsuit. It's six to 12 months and she's coming up on eight months. So put her in it yesterday. Oh, she looks like the Michelin man. (laughs) I mean, it, for, for she's a little bit too small for it yet. Oh, really? But yeah, she's a little bit too small for it yet, which is, six to twelve months is such a large range yeah. for it. But it's sweet. It's did you ever see a Christmas story? Uh-huh. Not so Ralphie, just, his brother. Yeah. Guys, yeah. wait up, guys. That's what she looked like. That's yeah. what she looked like. It, nice. it was awesome. I, I no, she imagine. she I think she's gonna love the snow. Yeah. So you're waiting on that next that next snow then. You got it. You got it prepared now. You got the suit. Yep. Yep. We're gonna bundle her up next. And hopefully she's she's well, she may be walking then. Maybe not. She might be. But we're gonna send her in the snow and see what she does. <laughs> Just whoop, toss her out into it and let her let her go. We did that with fall leaves, and I think we traumatized her with leaves. Yeah, that's right. You did say you uh you put her in there to take pictures, and she just went. She well, flopped. she face planted and or fell backwards and fell backward into a pile. Like, ah, yeah. Mom, Dad. Yeah. Was, yeah. Mm-hmm. Might be frowned upon to to do that in this. No. Is it frowned upon in this establishment? It is frowned upon in this establishment. Right. Yeah, but riding a dog like a donk or a horse is frowned upon in this establishment. I got you. I remember that commercial. Yeah, I thought I thought we were supposed to get more snow this weekend. I thought they were calling for it. But I, I don't know. Were we? I don't know. I thought I was going to call for a couple inches. Got a little yeah. excited for a second, but do do weather weathermen slash weather women really know what they're talking about? No, I, w- I would love to have that job. That could be right five percent of the time, or ninety five percent. Five percent of the time, one hundred percent of the time. Yep. Yep. Just, and just I don't know. Uh, so we're today we got a range of uh, thirty to fifty degrees. It's going to be somewhere in there. Uh, we uh, potential for uh, possibility of maybe seeing some snow flurries. Um, it's going to be a little brisk outside. It's so going to sure there's going to be up. there's going to be some wind of some variation outside today. Um, some clouds. Some clouds. Uh, the sun will be will be present. I'm not sure if we're going to see it or not. Uh, there's a chance, uh, but also we could not. So, stay tuned for more. Stay tuned. At noon. Yeah. Oh, weather. I mean, thinking about it though, it's got to be hot. How do you really predict? Yeah, weather, you know, predict. Yeah, it's it's kind of like it's like predicting the future. It's like being a it's like being a future teller. Future teller, not fortune teller. Future teller. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's gotta be tough but at the same time you're a professional man mm-hmm. you gotta look at all the graphs look at the graphs and the radars and the pretty colors the sign and the pretty colors pretty colors but i don't know now does it seem like to you that the frequency of snow has been less over the years oh gosh here we go yes. we're talking we're going into global warming talk 
No, I mean, go there, but yeah, it's so. just it's climate change. But anywho, um, yeah, it doesn't seem like really we get snow as often Last as we, year, we did. Didn't get any snow? Did we? Yeah, I don't. I can't remember a winter without snow at all. But yeah, I I agree. It's the frequency has been a lot less. Yeah, and we haven't been hit with like a huge snowstorm at all either, which I'm okay with. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, that kind of yeah. As I'm getting older, we. we we we'll eventually move south. Yeah, you had enough for the, the cold and the snow. So okay, yeah, so but not too south. So if you did have to, if you had to pick, then if there was somewhere that you you wanted to live, you were gonna you were gonna pick up, pick up you know, pack up everything, take the family, and go go somewhere. See, there's two places I would be like Charleston, South Carolina, or Lake Norman, North Carolina. Lake Norman. Yeah, but okay. can't afford it. <laughs> Hypothetically, but all right. So those, this, those we're talking we're places, talking dreams here. You can afford anything. Those two places. So you're North, North you're North Carolina. Lake Lake Norman might be a little bit better just because it's on a lake and just take the boat out and go cruising. Charleston, South Carolina, the 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 feel, the being near the beach and just being able to the old the the classic southern charm southern like that, charm it's like a good old holiday hot hallmark movie oh hey there neighbor how you do we're, we're talking that's not that's not carolina accent that's that's, that's georgia, deep south georgia maybe yeah hey, georgia georgia but now those, those two places i would it, it would be a toss-up like they both have their pros on on take me with you Take me with it, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, Carolina might be a little better. I I have wanted to live, wanted to live. No, that's right. Yeah, words. Um, I've I've thought about where I if I had if I got the chance to move, where would I want to go? And it, it's it is North Carolina. I I want it to be a quiet little seaside town. Do it. A little seaside town, you know small group of people you walk to the store oh hey there hey there jim how you doing today oh, hey there uh sandy uh did you get uh you get that get that uh sink fixed at your place and you just like know everyone and hey spongebob hey, how's so... it going i'm gonna say no no kevin no no so you heard sandy oh okay i got you that's it no nice. i the I just, I just by the sea, you got your your own little cottage there. You know, it's a small, quiet town. It's where uh, people go to flee from serial killers. And what? There was there was some there was some movie. I can't think of what it was, but the, it, it was literally she moved. She ran away to a, a seaside town in North Carolina, and the and the guy like followed her down there. It's like a that serial killer gotcha. and stuff and. Yeah, it's what turned me on. It's what turned me on. Hooked you on the small town living. Hooked me on the in North town. Carolina. Yeah. No, but I don't know. It's just the the thought of I I love the, the ocean. I love the beach. I love the water and stuff. And just I don't think I would want to be in like I don't want to. I don't know if I would want to live in Myrtle like Myrtle Beach or something like that, like like a heavy populated commercial area. Living close enough to be able to go there would kind of be maybe be cool, but no. Plus, you also got to deal with the hurricanes. Yeah. All right, we gotta leave. You gotta board up the house and leave, or weather it out. Or weather it out. Yeah, that. I mean, that would that's be tough. Kinda... So that's why you're 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 in in the uh, inland a little that's bit more. That huh? Charleston, yeah, Charleston, Lake Norman, they're kind of a little in further, so. I guess I would have to weather the storm, huh? Or, or, yeah, or batten down the hatches. Get the heck out. I don't know. Still, I feel like it'd still be worth it. I just, 
Oh, being able to be warm all the time. Oh, that'd be great. Dude, I'm cold all year round. I yeah, literally, I wear, I wear socks in the summertime, all right? It's that bad. Uh, I don't wear socks now. It's wrong. Well, you. inside. Yeah, really? How about outside? Ew. Oh, just cold thinking about it. Let but them yeah. suckers breathe. No, let them no. suffocate. Go to the dark suff- side again. Go to the dark side again, yeah. My computer's Let monitors. them suffocate. Let them suffocate. I mean, oh man, I don't know. I'd love, I would Dude, just love, swing love, the hammock and the love, yeah. Room. Oh, smelling the salty air. Yeah. Yeah. That's the life for me. I have a beer in hand. I mean, lemonade in hand. Lemonade in hand. Kids running around the yard. Wife looking Got beautiful. Like wife looking beautiful with her the sun shining on her face. I don't know about cutting the grass. I can't do that with my allergies. It kills me. No, the kids cutting the grass. Oh, kids cutting the grass. Kids cutting the grass. Even when they're little and like five years old and Yeah. Here's a lawnmower. Here's a lawnmower. Get to it. Yeah. So if you had to say if you had to put a time frame to it, to this to this move, when do you think it would be possible? Or when would it happen? Not possible anymore. We're talking hypothetical. We're talking dream. When's it happening, man? 10, 15 years. 10, 15 years? When the little ones get a little bit older. And they're in school. So you're, <laughs> you're moving them in the midst of school? Well, after a school year. Like yeah. when they're still young enough where they're like just starting to get well, that's friends. not that's not 10 15 years then kevin that's like six seven years okay maybe in 10 years okay hey i guess maybe 10 years yeah that's well 10 years would be like like fourth or fifth grade then oh geez you're being too literal oh my gosh i, I know. thought we were being hypothetical okay maybe five to ten years there is that <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that's better. I know, that's a tough thing, but... Oh, uh, yeah, it's tough. It's always... Um, it's all... It's, like, it's, a, it's a battle. It's, it's, it's a tough thing. Love the pick, seasons, pick it up though. and move it, but... I love the seasons up here, though. Yeah, the it seasons, is... Yeah, it, it is nice seeing all the all the seasons, especially when we have it all in one day. Do you remember <laughs> that know. day? We Literally, we woke up, it was... It was fall, you know, kind of like, you know, just dreary and a little bit cold. Then it went to winter, snowing. And then the snow stopped and it got super bright and sunny out in the summer. Then we went back to winter again, you know, snowing again. Then I had spring. And then we had spring. It it was, it was uh, raining and and sunny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All four, all four seasons in one day. Typical. Yeah. I guess, yeah, in a way, it's nice to have all the seasons, get to experience snow and rain and this and that. Mm-hmm. I probably would miss it if, if, I, if I moved south. I'd miss it at first, but then I think I'd get over real quick. I'd, I'd just, just come visit while it's snowing, you know? Come visit yeah. parents or family or whatever. Hey, guys, I'm coming, I, I'm coming to see the snow for a couple of days and then I'm heading back down to my warmth. Yep. <laughs> I don't, time frame for me moving to North Carolina. A year? Two? You know, yeah, I, I wish. Yeah, okay. Pick up and go. Pick up and go. You know, Dylan actually, because we were talking about it one day, and I was, I was like, you know, I want to move to North Carolina. And then we were like, maybe that's where your future wife is down there. Maybe you're not going to meet her here. Maybe you're going to meet her down there when you move by yourself. This is true. So, I don't know. Boom. Maybe. Do it. Do it. Just, do just think? go. Just go for it. I think BK should do it. Just go for it. Just go for it. Then I got an excuse to, we got an excuse to go somewhere down there. It's true. Got oh, place, we have my brother-in-law down in Myrtle to visit. Beach right now. But, oh, really? Yep. Living down there? Yep. They have a house down there. They're actually moving up to North Carolina eventually, but soon but yeah they live down in Myrtle Beach area 
they like it. As far as I'm aware, yeah. yeah. We only were able to get down there once. Yeah. Before all this happened and stuff, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's nice. Yeah. Chima, though, it's the only thing that would kind of get me. I don't care. I like I like sweating. I'd rather I would rather you bake rather in the I would rather glisten in the sun than shiver in the cold. This is true. Just me, just my preference. I don't know. Yeah, maybe why mom, mom, mom and dad are gonna. BK State will maybe it is maybe North my uh, next next step in my journey is down there. Who knows? I said do it. Mom, mama, mama, and papa BK wouldn't uh, probably appreciate that though. But yeah, they got somewhere to come visit. They got excuse to go visit. That's true. Yeah, they got a good place to go for beach time and yep, whatever. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's always been on my mind. It's always been on my mind. We'll see. All right, Kev. Let's move on to our bright stories. Told me about this one. This one. This one's a good one. This one's a good one. This one's a good one. We're gonna. We're gonna skip mine. We're gonna go with yours first this time. Oh man, mine was just simple. Nice gesture that felt like doing the one day. Hey, so good. This bright story is kind of a nice, just general, general, kind gesture that that um i try to do every once in a while so i was traveling this past tuesday and before i left for my three and a half hour drive i stopped at nice dunkin donuts to get <laughs> a, a coffee in the morning good old dunkin donuts and at this time there's usually a little bit of line so i wait you got some nice people you got some unpleasant folk that want their coffee and go yeah um no i didn't get a PSL and it wasn't oh, basic this time. It wasn't basic this time. But um there was this there was this gentleman in front of me. Um he was an Allegheny County cop. Um I knew this because his vehicle was a police vehicle that said Allegheny County. <laughs> and um I heard he he was he was ordering food and I was like, thanks for specifying that. <laughs> I knew this because his car had a label on it. Hey, it had a label on it. Um, <laughs> but oh, but so he, he ordered and I pulled up to the to the to order my stuff and I, I asked the lady kindly if she would hold off on allowing this gentleman to pay because I know that they've been through a rough year, everything going on. They're yeah. at the front they're they're just like the nurses and everybody else on the front lines, um retail workers. And I, I felt that to to brighten up his day whether whether he was already having a good day or he was having a bad day i didn't know yeah. um that i i would purchase his his coffee or whatever he he was getting and so i did that and and he beat the horn as he was pulling out and waved his hand out the window and went on his way and i didn't i didn't expect him to to do anything i didn't i didn't i didn't care if he acknowledged that i paid for it i didn't care if he did anything it was just the fact that I wanted to show that I supported and and appreciated everything that that they've done. Um, because yes, there's not there's not um, there are some bad cops out there, corrupt ones, but but ninety nine percent of the 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 police force and law enforcement, EMS, emergency response, nurses, and so they're all kind people like yeah, yeah, I knew they've been through a lot and I just wanted something to brighten up his day and felt like that was, that was a kind gesture. So yeah. simple, simple thing simple. that you were able to do for somebody. Um, yeah. yeah. Like you said, cops definitely taking a lot of heat. Um, yes. And they put, you know, especially like you said, there are, there definitely are still good cops out there and, and to remind them that, you know, a lot of us still appreciate mm -hmm. what they do and, and that they're putting their lives on the line to protect us and, and help us and, and, you know, look out for, for the general public, uh, you know, the way that they do, obviously you got this, you got those, those ones that are sitting there with their radar gun and stuff that are pulled. Yeah. Over. But, Can't you know, wait. catch, 
too fast too in a way furious, too so. fast too furious but no i mean like you said with with ems and and healthcare workers and everything all these people that are doing these amazing things each and every day it's it's just a little gesture that hopefully that can that can brighten their day and it's just letting people know that that we appreciate them you know i try mm-hmm. try to anybody i know that that's a nurse or something like that i try to i try to reach out to them and let them know you know we we all appreciate what you do every single day we know you're going through so so much right now mm-hmm. um and it's you know i'm not even just just letting them know, just taking the time to, to let them know that we appreciate them. And, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure they realize, you know, that people, people are thinking about them. It's just, sometimes you need to actually take the action and, and do it and let them know. And you need just, that extra push. Give, they, they need that extra, extra boost because it's, it's tough. Depressing. Man. It's depressing. It, it's depressing, tough, um, sad, and demoralizing can, sometimes because I can imagine how tired. Machine, and, yeah. Yeah, I can imagine how tired and just worn out they they are. Just mm-hmm. it's crazy. It's crazy. So, so good. Yeah, that was just that was just something simple. So. Yeah, I like it, Kev. I like it. Good job. Appreciate that. Appreciate right. that. No problem. Yeah. So uh, my bright story was submitted um, by my cousin, who her daughter, uh, her daughter's boyfriend, uh, came down with COVID, and so he. You know, he's been obviously he's been quarantined for for a while now. Uh, he lives with his grandparents, or I guess they the family. I don't. They family lives together or whatever. And the not only did he, you know, he has COVID, so he's not seeing anyone. His you know his mom has to like bring food to his to his door and and not see him and stuff. It's kind of crazy and depressing. And uh, so in addition, the grandfather fell and got injured, like broke his hip or you know, got injured in some way. I can't remember exactly what she said. Um, but so the grandfather was, was injured. And so they can't really just take him to the hospital because you don't want to be around him with COVID and stuff. So they had to call an ambulance and, and take him that way and this and that. So that was like another thing added on to it. And then the, the sister of the boyfriend um, got married uh, over the past you know, couple of years or whatever. Apparently she's going through a bad divorce now too. So all these things are piling on at once with everything in this, in this family. So it's just, it's been rough for this family in the last couple of weeks or month or whatever. And so my cousin and her daughter, you know, the, the, the girlfriend of the boyfriend was, you know, she said, why don't you, um, you know, text your boyfriend, tell him, uh, you know, not to, not to worry about dinner for, for the, for the day. Um, and so my cousin and, and the daughter uh, got a bunch of, of food from Olive Garden, you know, dinner, dinner meal from Olive Garden for the whole family and just took it over to them and, and said, you know, don't worry about it. Hopefully this helps brighten up your day a little bit. You brought your week a little bit. We know it's been tough. We're thinking about you. Um, so we just wanted to do this for you. Uh, you don't have to worry about it and got a good meal from, from Olive Garden and just trying to, again, just trying to brighten up the day, the week, just trying to help out a little bit. So. Jeez, that's 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 tough. That's yeah. especially one thing after another there, but it, that's awesome to see that it's it's there's there's still kind enough people that even though it's it's not your family, they they still were able to to provide some support. Find a way so, to yeah, you can f- be creative. Find a way to to show some support um you know just just helping out again it's just a little it's just a meal it's just a meal for the one day but it's it's i think it's it's more of the action of Mm -hmm. you showing you care enough to just be there for somebody you know in in, Mm -hmm. in a different way other than just talking to them or whatever it's just it's an action of of we want to we want to be there for you and help you out action speak louder than words action speak louder than words yep absolutely awesome. absolutely so well, nice nice story there so thanks for, thank you for sharing thank you for sharing appreciate that. that family too yes seriously hopefully uh you know the luck turns around uh soon sooner rather than later um hope everything kind of gets resolved and figured out and hope things start you know in a in a positive note from from here on out mm-hmm. hoping so. hoping hoping they brighten up hoping they brighten up exactly exactly so all right, Kev. Uh, I think that's about it, buddy. 
it was fun. It's always a pleasure. It's always, always a pleasure and Absolutely. glad to hear the bright stories and, and bright actions that everybody's doing and yes, just keep doing them because it's, you don't know when, when you could find yourself in a, in a, in a situation where you're just down out and just not, not in the best mind frame and someone does something good for you. It's, 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 we've all been there. And yes. Absolutely. It's been even tougher now. So it's, yes, those kind of gestures, whether it's sending a text, like you said, or purchasing something like, um, myself and and your cousin did it that's it's like you it's uh, actions speak louder than words and so it's it's yep just gotta keep at it keep at it keep keep spreading the love keep spreading the love mm-hmm. yeah no thanks for having me it's a pleasure as always absolutely girl dad you got it hey gotta go wake the little one up here soon and get her some grub Get her some grub. Mm-hmm. There you go. There you go. Get yourself some grub too. <laughs> Try to do that. Just, just not what she's having necessarily. No, no. no. <laughs> Even though she's starting to eat real food, it's. I'd love to feed her a chicken wing or two, or give her some spaghetti. Well, yeah. we gave her some spaghetti. She enjoyed it. Oh, I bet. But yeah, it's it's exciting times. Yes. There you go. Find find the the brightness in each day. Mm-hmm. Always. Little things, little things. All right, buddy. Thanks again for joining. Go out and get yourself some 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 food and, and uh, go make make it a good week for you. All right, go make yourself. I'll try. Go make it a good week and uh, you do the same. We'll do. We'll do. So uh, thanks again, everyone, for for tuning in. Uh, be sure to check out the social media pages on Instagram, uh, Bright underscore Connections. Twitter at Bright Connect. And then obviously you can find us on YouTube. Search for Bright Connections. <laughs> Make sure to follow, like, subscribe uh, on everything. Um, so we can keep keep uh, keep the good times rolling. Keep spreading the, the good the good news. The bright connections. Keep spreading the brightness, guys. And um, obviously make sure you go out, have yourself a bright week. We're getting close to Christmas time, guys. Getting close to Christmas time. It's a wonderful time of the year. Spread the joy, spread the, spread the kindness, spread the brightness. Have yourself a wonderful week and we'll see you next time. Take care. Take care.